me! I don't like- Oh my god, it's on! <laughs> Welcome to the MGM channel, I'm your host Cornish. This has been a long time coming, and as I said in my Insound Mind video, Silent Hill was one of my top favourite games of psychological horror and stuff. Nami did an amazing like conference of different Silent Hill games, including the remake. A lot of people were sceptical, I understand. Even I kind of was. But now Silent Hill 2 Remake is out and there's a lot to talk about, honestly. Oh my god. So here we are, the game series I fell in love with. Not just the creepy things, but the insane story for each Silent Hill series. Back then when Konami did the Silent Hill announcements, I was shocked to the core. Because, again, Silent Hill was always something dear to me. I was very excited like a little kid. I can't describe to you how excited and also cautious I was when I heard the Silent Hill 2 remake. And the coolest thing is, it's the three original creators and blooper team doing the remake. Now, Blooper Team was behind the Lair of Fears, and that game was absolutely cool. So, the story for Silent Hill 2 starts off with a protagonist called James Sutherland, who gets a letter from his dead wife who died three years ago, asking to go to Silent Hill to find their special place. As James goes through the Silent Hill town, he must go through nightmare worlds and open his past darkness. And throughout the game, you can see James Sutherland just cracking and losing it. And that nearly teared me up, man. Oh, 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 I was falling then, dude. <laughs> now, the story itself with the remake is absolutely incredible. And the fact that they got loads of endings, including a couple of new ones, which is just perfect. I, I think it's dead. So let's talk about the gameplay. Because I have so much to talk about with this remake. They did an amazing job with the combat system. I was just absolutely blown away at the gameplay. Compared to the PlayStation 2 version of Exploring Silent Hill, there was a couple of places you can go. But with the remake, you it just expands and you can go through all sorts of places. Even some places that they added in, but kept true to the original. All right. I like the fact you can actually explore in the houses now as well. Wait, what? You can smash cars up? Like, hell, you can break windows and, like, go to places that are more interesting. Instead of the fixed camera angle, the combat was very different, but very well played. From melee to our firearms, it had so much goodness out of just the style of the gameplay. And of course, they kept the settings for the games and puzzle modes of difficulty, which is very old school, and I like that. Another main feature I want to talk about are the puzzles. There are some new ones, and there's some old ones. And there are the new ones are kind of, like, enhanced, and they added a little bit more glimmer to it, I'd say. Like that coin puzzle in the old Silent Hill days, and when the remake happened, it had me a love, because it was not just a coin you put in and then you open. There was a lot more complex to it. And of course, other puzzles in the game were very challenging. Some new, some old. And I also noticed when you go to certain places and you think if you are a PlayStation 2 veteran of Silent Hill, you think, oh, I'll just go here because I remember this area. You get this weird static things that you that they know you went there and it's there, but it's not the puzzle. This one here, there it is. See, it is, it's flashbacks from, it's turning, it's, yeah, I'm right. Thing comes up, it's just flashbacks of that's quite cool. Now let's go to the monsters because all the monsters are the same models from the original Silent Hill, however, they're very different. 
here. No? You sure? Fine. Be that way. We should probably get going. Fine. Ready when you are. Do you know what, right? That scene there is was so I'm not gonna lie, right? That scene there was so striking because he was looking to contemplate whether to drink or not. And you could see it in his eyes, his reaction, his feel. And I love that. That is awesome. That is so cool. Now, there's two main important things to make a good Silent Hill remake. And that is first, the audio. <laughs> Oh my god, where do I begin? As soon as I started that intro music and with the voice actors, I almost nearly teared up. I'm not joking. And that bit with the jukebox when they played that song, oh my god. It got me right there in the heart, man. I appreciate the new voice characters as well as that classic creepy music in Silent Hill. Especially when you go to like areas and it has that weird hellish sound and you think something's going to hit you but nothing there. It just torments you and I love that and I'm glad they kept that in honestly with the voice actors and the action sequences the just the entire theme and the music so yeah they really hit the audio and the music right out the park and now we're going to come to the visuals because Konomi really did right to let the blooper team work on the graphics as layer of fears was really pretty and what they did with the Silent Hill 2 remake was just spot on. And they made everything look like what Silent Hill should have been. Hell, I even seen a mod where someone took the fog off and it just still looks incredible. And throughout the game of the Silent Hill, you can see James Sunderland's reaction as he descends to madness. And he goes deeper and deeper in that horrifying nightmare world. And the things he sees is just insane. Oh no. Leave her alone. Leave us both the hell alone. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, overall. I'm very happy to see Silent Hill back up and see many people praising this. It's It brings a smile to my face. Silent Hill should have done that ages ago and every Silent Hill I've played, I've enjoyed. But they lost that kind of hit and miss thing. And again, I'm probably going overboard on this, but Silent Hill's always been my favourite horror game i've ever played in my entire life not just the fact it's also creepy it's also the story and the connections and the way each character goes through if konami and blooper team make more silent hills soon and they make it just like silent hill 2 it's going to be an incredible series and that's my review on silent hill 2 remake this has been a long time coming and i'm very happy i did it here to anyone who's found this interesting, I do hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be lots of reviews from just different games, not just new games. And there's going to be some guides from other hosts. This is probably my last video doing on MGM because I really wanted to just put Silent Hill out and I wanted to be the person to make this review. So please, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Feel free to say anything as you please. I respect it. And everyone, have a great day.